Hello everyone and welcome to My Organized Life, where I'm trying to get my life organized. If you're new to the channel, a huge hello and welcome to you. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Today we are going to be doing up a budget for my second paycheck in April. I'm super excited for this. Um, I feel like I did so good in my last budget. It makes me so excited to continue and I'm motivated to do even better this time. And then... Hopefully closing this month when it comes to that will be a little bit easier than it has been in the past. So I've got my fingers crossed for that. So for the previous paycheck, I decided to use um, the numbers app on my computer. Um, that's basically the Apple version of Excel, I believe. Um, so I've been using that to kind of figure out where I'm going to put my money. That way when I come into my budget book, I know already what I'm doing with it and then it'll be a lot neater and more organized and organization is kind of my thing. <laughs> That's the name for the channel. So the less chaos for me, the better because then I tend not to get overwhelmed. So I'm actually going to be including my process in that. I do have a busy day, so I wanted to do um, the audio at the same time that I was actually doing the process, but it was pretty early in the morning and I didn't want to wake the boys up. So I will be voicing over that part. Um, I'll explain it to you guys the best I can. So we'll get into that and then we'll jump right back into the physical stuff. This is my spreadsheet that I created to kind of make a mock-up budget. That way I have all of my numbers figured out before I actually open up my budget by paycheck workbook. So these are the numbers for my previous paycheck. So I'm gonna go through and delete these. Up here, I've got my income. Um, so I've got Sev, job number two, and my rollover. If I needed to add anything else, I always can. That's the nice thing about working on a computer. And then down here, I have my bills. So I've got the dates that they usually um, are due on. And then I've got my bill color here. That's my um, highlighter color in my budget by paycheck workbook. So I wanted to include that as well. So I have all of my bills listed and their usual prices. And then I've just been going through and highlighting the ones that I'm covering with, with um, the paycheck that I'm currently on. So these were the bills that I covered with my last paycheck. Um, then here I've got my envelopes, again, with their um, category colors here. So I've got cab, lunch money, groceries, takeout, miscellaneous, beauty, and pet. Here I've got all of my sinking funds, including the first monthly challenge, second monthly challenge, because I do have the, I did buy the 2021 savings challenges from the budget mom. And then here I've got what I usually put under my extra debt and what I put under my rollover. So these are basically the categories off of the budget page. I just need to figure out the amounts that I can put where. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete these. These numbers don't get deleted unless they, the price has changed. So if my payment changed, then I would delete those. But other than that, for the most part, they stay the same. I'm just going to go through and delete all of these. Okay, so let's figure out which bills I'm going to be paying. Okay, let's see. So land tax always stays highlighted because I put $125 away every paycheck for land tax. I'm also going to be covering benefits and then Fortnite crew, Netflix, and TELUS. So we're going to do a color fill on those and I'm just going to match the color that I've been using. So there's that. Oh, that changed my bill color too. I didn't realize I had that <laughs> selected. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. Okay, so my bills are not really variable, so I'm gonna go through and add these up. My benefits, however, are not going to get paid. Um, this money is actually gonna to go towards my Walmart MasterCard because Rain has the funds to pay the benefits for this month, so he said to go ahead and focus on my debt, so I'm gonna do that. Um, and then Fortnite Crew, um, this one I decided that if I want to partake in it that I can buy a PlayStation card with my miscellaneous budget. Um, but I do still have it here just as a reminder that it's coming out and I need to decide, you know, whether I it's something that I'm interested or not in this month. So the only ones I'm going to add up is I'm going to add up land tax. So we've got 125. I'm going to add Netflix. So plus 15. 
and then TELUS. So plus 16738 equals 30738. Okay, so that is the total for my bills. For envelopes, let's see. I'd like to do 35 again towards cab money. Let's try and do 60 towards lunch. 200 for grocery, 65 for takeout. I'm going to try to do 80 for miscellaneous. And then beauty, let's see, I got my nails done on the 8th of this month. They are still pretty good, so I think I can go a couple weeks longer, but next paycheck I'll probably have to cover that. But for this one, I'm going to say nope. And then I'll budget 60 for pets. So up here is my kind of like this is this is what's happening <laughs> number so this is not changing I cannot bend this at all so once I have everything set in stone I'm gonna put it up here down here I have kind of like a temporary totals box so I'm gonna add all of these up and put the total there so see we got 35 plus 60 plus 200 plus 65 plus 80 plus 60. So these equal 500, oops, on this one. Let's just double check that. 60 plus 200 plus 65 plus 80 plus 60 equals 500. Okay, I forgot I can use my keyword for that. That's so much easier. Okay, for my sinking funds, I'd like to keep those all where they usually are. Just to make my life easier, I'm going to <laughs> copy the dollar sign. That way I can just control V it. So 15... The anniversary would be 20. Back to school is 15. Okay, 20 for vacay. 30 for rain. Fifty-five for Christmas. Fifty-five for puppy. I didn't spend the cat's um, money last paycheck, so I'm gonna put sixty dollars towards their sinking fund. 20 for birthdays, 67 for the challenge, and then I'd like to do 80 for the um, challenge. There's only one challenge that I'm setting money aside for. Um, so there's that. Um, let's make a temporary total box for this as well, because these can change. I don't really like changing these ones, but if I needed to change um, the challenge amount, that I, then I could. So let's add these up here. So we're going to go 15 plus 20 plus 15 plus 20 plus 30 plus 55 plus 55 plus 60 plus 20 plus 67 plus 80. So this is 437. Walmart MasterCard is going to be 284 and taxes is going to be 75 so those aren't going to change. So 359 there. Okay, so for my rollover, my cushion is going to be at 100 
this paycheck. I bump it up by $10 every paycheck. And the amount that I'm saving for my benefits depends on how much money I have left over. So let's go ahead and put my income in. So 947.57 from Sev. Um, 320 from job number two, and my rollover for this paycheck is 433.95. So let's add those up. Okay, so 170.152. the bills, so minus 307.38, okay, if we did 500 for envelopes, and then this for sinking funds, minus 395 for that, it would only leave us with $62.14, so I need to change a little bit here. I'm going to start with my envelopes. So let's go see 3560. We still have quite a bit left over from um, last paychecks grocery shop. So I'm going to drop that to 180, I think. I want to keep takeout the same miscellaneous. I can probably drop that down another 10. Let's go to 70. I don't think I would want to decrease those any more than that. Let's see what that would equal. So 35 plus 60 plus 180 plus 65 plus 70 plus 60. So I can decrease this one too. I always, um, <laughs> I always try to save more than I technically have to with the, with the challenges. So maybe I'll just save the amount that I am technically supposed to, which is fifty dollars. Um, so let's just go four thirty-seven minus fifty. Okay, let me just add all of these up again. Okay, 407. Strange. Oh, because I minus 50 instead of, I took, I think $30 off. Okay, I'm just crazy. <laughs> it's a good thing I added those up. Okay, so 407 there. Those, I'm gonna stay the same. Okay, let's see what we're at now. Okay, so 17 and 152 minus the bills. 307.38 minus our spending envelopes, 470, sinking funds, 407, minus 359 for extra debt. So that would leave us with 158.14 minus 100 for a cushion. That would leave us with $58.14 for benefits. It's not as much as I would like to put towards benefits, but I also know that I don't have to pay them next month because we have an extra government payment coming in. So um, I know they're not super high priority next month. So I think, I think that's reasonable. So then this total would be 158.14. This would be 407. And this would be 470. And then just to double check that, I'm just going to add these up to see if they equal this. Okay, so 158.14 plus 359 plus 407 plus 470 plus 307 38 equals. 
17.0152. Okay, so I like this budget. I think this is going to work. There's all of the work done, no erasing, just deleting. It is so much less of a headache, so I definitely like this way better. So now um, you can either print this out when you were done. I like to try and save paper, so I am just going to take a picture of this and work off of my tablet, and I will meet you guys back here. Okay, so there is everything all figured out. So I use the Budget by Paycheck Workbook by The Budget Mom. I bought the PDF version and then I put in some other online resources and various um, pages of my own just to kind of make it unique to me and fit my personal needs. So I did use quotes instead of title pages because um, a little bit less ink heavy and I love quotes. So um, I definitely liked that a little bit more. So we're gonna flip to April. So here is where I get all of my bills from. So I write everything down and highlight it with the paycheck that it's going to be paid from. So today is the 23rd. So this paycheck is in purple. So we've got land tax. I already paid my Walmart MasterCard in my other paycheck. I decided to change my mind on that. Um, we've got the benefits. And then we do have a little bit going into May. So we have Fortnite crew and then we've got TELUS. And then I decided that I'm also going to put Netflix on this paycheck as well. That way I don't have to go out and grab a Netflix card on the 7th or the 8th to make sure that that gets paid. Um, it just makes it a little bit easier. And then on my dashboard here, I've got the amounts that I need to save. Um, I need to add that. I can't quite remember what I came up with for this challenge. I did. I am doing the 2021 savings challenges, so those are kind of dependent upon other things. So here was my previous budget. We're going to be doing a budget for the 23rd through to the 6th. So I'm just going to take these off and take the pages out. These are just magnetic bookmarks. I like having them because then I can easily flip to my most used pages um, a little bit easier. Um, everything that I use and then some will be linked in the description box below if there's any Thing I use from Etsy it will have its own link and then everything from Amazon will have one link that will take you to my idea lists um, that are categorized in I think four or five different categories um, so you can go through those if you're interested but a little bit of a disclaimer it may or may not be an affiliate link I'm not really sure I tried to set that up but it did not work very well Okay, let's choose colors. I like to make my budget very colorful. It makes it fun, a little bit more appealing. Let's see, we used pink and green last time. Let's use blue and purple this time. Okay, so I'm gonna go through and write everything down that I need on here, and then I might speed this up. So if I do speed it up, then I will meet you back here when I'm done. everything there that we need so I think I'm gonna speed that up so just to explain here so we've got um, a couple new things um, so we've got this other so I've got my three main incomes my sev my job number two and my rollover this other is basically here for my actual so when I put in actual numbers any sinking funds that I bring in um, if I get paid by YouTube, anything like that, that will go into other. Um, so it's basically my unbudgeted income. Um, so we didn't have any credit card bills on here. So it's just all out of my savings account, I believe, or cash. So nothing going on my credit card for bills. So then I've got my basic categories here. Um, I decided to 
break down my sinking funds and then my challenges. Um, it makes it easier for me to track them later on and then it also makes it a lot cleaner since I don't have the room anyways and then I just list all of my sinking funds here. I have the perfect amount of room as long as I don't add any more categories. <laughs> so I've got that there and then we've got a Walmart MasterCard um, which I count that as a bill. It's technically debt but I count it as a bill and then I've got my taxes um, which I treat that like a sinking fund and then down here we've got our rollover so I've got whatever my cushion is whatever I'm saving for benefits and then this rollover category here I added um, just to show how much I'm rolling over into the next paycheck that way my leftover is always at zero um, I think I really like that so now we can go through and start adding stuff okay so let's start here Okay, so I've got these three lines just to show what's getting paid with which account. So I've got cash, which is green, um, debit is pink, and then savings is blue. And my savings is not actually a savings account, it's a secondary checking account. We're going to go through and work on the budget. So from Sev, I got paid $947.57. Job number two, I'll be receiving the usual 320 And then the rollover that I have from last paycheck is $433.95. And then there's zero for other. So this totaled up is $1,701.52. It's nice not having to do math on this because I've already done all of my math. Oh, and I forgot to write in the dates here. So land tax technically comes out today. So the 23rd, I'll be putting away $125 for that. Benefits is generally at the end of the month. So we'll say the 30th. Fortnite crew is on the 1st. Netflix is on the 8th. And TELUS is usually on the 9th, but the 9th is on a Sunday. So that bill is technically due on the 10th. So land tax is $125. Benefits, I'm actually not paying these this paycheck. Rather than going um, to rain, they're going on my MasterCard. And then Fortnite Crew, I'm not treating this like a bill. Um, I don't expect to spend it. I have it here, that way I'm aware of it. But if I want to get this, then I will just get a PlayStation card out of my miscellaneous category. Um, that just makes it... So I have to really decide whether it's something that I want or need. Um, Netflix will be $15. And then TELUS will be its usual $167.38. So the bills tallied up should equal $307.38. Okay, moving down to the normal categories, we're budgeting $35.38. For cab money, that gives me five cab rides if I need them. Um, $60 for lunch. Um, I think I can still make this work. I did go over by $2.10 last paycheck, but I bought Ashley a drumstick, and had I not have done that, um, I actually would have been within my budget. So I think the $60 is working. I'm going to keep it there. Groceries, we still have quite a bit from our last grocery shop, so instead of doing the normal $200, I'm bumping that down to $180. That should hopefully cover us for the next two weeks. Takeout is going to be at 65, it's usual. Miscellaneous, I'm budgeting $70 for that this month. My miscellaneous is never really set. It kind of changes because this is the one category that I do feel comfortable lowering or raising as I need. Um, it's more just a challenge to stay within it, which is fine, I like a challenge. Um, beauty, I'm not budgeting anything this paycheck, so technically I will not have anything budgeted for beauty for this month, but next month I definitely have to get my nails done. I think they're okay for now. Um, pet, I'm going to be budgeting the usual 60, so all of my spending envelopes should equal up to $470. So then we will move over to sinking funds. This one I'm going to have to do a little bit of math. My sinking funds total 407 here. I'm going to minus 50. Okay, so sinking funds should be 357. 
And then the April challenge should be $50. And that should equal up to 407, and it does so, $407. Okay, coming down to here. So Walmart MasterCard is gonna be getting $284. And that is what would have gone to my benefits. So good there. And then $75 will squirrel away for taxes. Okay, cushion is gonna be at $100 now. I increase that by $10 every paycheck rollover. We won't have any, we won't know what our rollover is until we go through and do our actual numbers. And then I'm just going to math everything here just to make sure our benefits is where it should be. Okay, so we've got our income, $1,701.52. We're gonna subtract 307.38. So that leaves us with $1,394.14. Okay, and then we're gonna subtract 470. So that leaves us with $924.14. Okay, minus 407. So $517.14. Forgot to add this up. <laughs> okay, so two. 84 plus 75, just making, double checking that this is what it should be. So 359 is what that should be. Okay, so we've got our 517, 14 minus 359 equals $158.14. Minus 100. Then our benefits that we're, the money that we're saving for our benefits should be $58.14, and it is. So this equals, oops. This equals $158.14, which leaves us with zero because that is where we want our budget to be. Every single penny has a place that it's going to potentially go. Oh, that is so much easier. That is like literally a lifesaver. I will not miss the days of going back and erasing and redoing this two to three times before finally deciding on something. So this is nice. Okay, so now let's work on this page. add all of these up. Actually, before I do that, we're getting to that confusing part again. Okay, um, which way do I want to do this? So anything in brackets is left in the account. I'm debating leaving money for the cats in the account. I don't know if I need cat food or not. Let me check. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna need cat food, so I'll keep that out. And then I think what I need to start doing, I gotta find a routine that works for this. So I think what I need to start doing, since I do have change left over, is um, I need to go through and figure this out first, and then that will tell me how much I need to keep in my account for groceries, and then I need to add everything up and double check and everything. So let's try it that way and see if it goes a little bit smoother. All right, so here I've got my rollover money. So I've got my change and my cash. Um, so for the change, let's see. I'd like to put $5 of this towards cab money. So we'll do that. Um, let's see, so this row is going to be um, for what I already have. And then we've got fives, tens, twenties, fifties, and hundreds. Okay, so I'm gonna say that I already have five dollars. Okay, and then the change, that would leave us with a dollar and 45, I think if I remember correctly, a dollar 10, 
20, 30, 45. Okay, so we're gonna say we already have a dollar 45 for groceries. Let's see here, let's do that. We've got our takeout 65. So already got 65 for takeout. We won't need anything else for that one. 50, 60, 70. So we've got our 70 for miscellaneous. Oh, mm -mm, I forgot about this. Um, I usually look for odd numbers first. The challenge needs $2. Okay, let me just think about this for a second here. So I don't think we're going to be able to put $5 towards cat money. I need to put two dollars towards the challenge money. So let's go five, six, seven. So we'll say we already have seven. I'm glad I caught that now rather than later. Okay, so there's seven dollars for challenge. So now let's see what we've got left. One, two, three, four. Okay, so groceries will just have to be four dollars and forty-five, I think. So one, two, three, four, ten, twenty, thirty. 45 okay and then I think we can still do these same amounts here so we had 50 65 for takeout and then 50 60 70 for miscellaneous and then we have 15 I did forget a step but I am on the ball today Netflix. <laughs> Getting a little ahead of myself, which is okay. I'm still working on getting in a routine and I keep changing things up so it's a little bit hard to remember the order I need to do things in. Okay, so we're gonna say we've got 15 for Netflix. We don't need anything else there. Okay, so I think that covers all that. Let's just bring this sheet back for a minute. And then we're gonna go through and highlight what accounts things are coming out of. So let's start with cash. Um, so all of these are gonna be cash. Groceries is gonna be half cash, half debit. Sinking funds are all going to be pulled in cash. That's cash. I think that's everything for cash. So let's move on to debit. Oh, actually, Netflix is going to be cash. There we go. Okay, so for debit, I think the only thing this paycheck getting paid with debit is half of my groceries. Yeah, I think so. Okay. And then savings, so land tax will be coming out of that account, so will tell us. Those are all done, those are done. Walmart MasterCard will come out of that account, and these will stay in that account. That looks better. So before we continue further, because I would hate to have to backtrack again, let me just double check here, that everything that's green is on here. So let's see, we've got all of our envelopes, which is good. Um, and we've got all of our sinking funds. And we've got Netflix, so I think we're good there. So now that we've got our already have done, we can come in and figure out how much we're gonna leave in the account for groceries. So our budget is 180. I'd like to keep roughly like 80 of that in, um, in my account. See, if I did keep the 80 and that would leave us with 100 and then we would already have $4.45 so we would only need 95.55 which I think would make it so we would need a dollar still at the end of this because this has to be even. Okay let's we'll just do it the easy way that we have been doing so we need 180 so we're gonna say we already have one we're going to say for cash, we're going to do 104.45. Okay, so 180 minus 104.45 means that 
$75.55 is being left in the account. So we'll just leave it like that because I think that just makes it the easiest. So I'm going to add all of these up. Okay, and double check, we're good there. Okay. So then we already have And that's gonna be what we have in cash. So I have that information from closing my paycheck yesterday. My cash total is 161.45. And this minus this, this minus this should equal this. So before I do all of this, I'm just going to make sure that this is actually a, a number that has no change that ends in a 0 or a 5. So let's see, we're going to go 8 and 91, 45, minus 161, 45. So 730. Perfect. All right, so now I can go in and see what else I need. So cab money, we need 35. Um, let's see, I'm going to do... I think a 20 and three fives. So I can always get the 20 changed for fives later, and then three fives gives me um, two bills, and then I can get the other five turned into change since I need $7 per cab ride. So that does equal 35, right? 20, 35, 30, 35. Yeah, it should be good. Okay. So lunch money, we need 60. I'm going to pull out three 20s. Um, grocery, I need 100. Beauty, we don't need anything. Pet, we need 60, so 50, 60. Uh, carbon, we need 15. Taxes, we need 75. And anniversary is 20, 15, 20, 30. These are both 55s, 60, 20, need 60 for that, 50 for the April challenge. Okay, and I think that's good. So we only need one hundred dollar bill. We need one, two, three, four, five, six. 750s. I always feel bad when there's an odd amount of 50s because it really throws the girls at the bank off. Um, some of them just count out the bills that I ask for. Others try to actually count the amount and that, that odd 50 always throws them off because they're just not used to that. I gotta make their lives hard though. I uh, feel bad. Okay, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They probably hate seeing me walk in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, four, sixty, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, forty. Okay, let's add these up and see. I want, no, I'll keep that black. Okay, so forty. Plus 60, plus 180, plus 350, plus 100 equals 730. So we're good there. Okay, and then I just have one more thing that I have to do. I go through and list everything that gets paid with um, income from my second job. Basically everything that gets paid out of my savings account. That way I can figure out how much I have to leave in the account and how much I can pull. Because my money that I get for my second job doesn't always get put in my account today. So um, I need to make sure that I leave the correct amount. So that way when that money gets added to my account, I have the amount I need to cover everything. But um, I decided not to include me working that out in these videos just because it's a little bit extra. I doubt very many people have to do that and it just takes up time. So I'm going to quickly do that myself and I will meet you back when I'm done. All right, so I got that done. So I think that is this budget fully worked out. 
Um, I'm going to go through and fill out a slip, but first I'm going to just update this. So this is my tracker for the month, and I'm just going to update this basically the same way I did last paycheck, so I'll probably speed this up. There we go, that's everything filled out. So I've got all of my starting balances. I just realized that I used the wrong highlighter color for beauty. This is supposed to be my brighter pink. That is actually my color for pet, but not a huge deal. And then the only other two I have, I don't include my cab money or my lunch money on this tracker because I do carry these ones with me. Since I work a lot and I, these are two ones correlated to work, that is why I carry these in my wallet and then everything else I have at home. And then one thing I do like about this system is sometimes I don't know exactly how much I have left in a category and that really makes me weary of spending. So I'm not going to spend unless I absolutely have to if I'm trying to stay within my budget. And then I can come home and kind of see where I'm at once I subtract everything that I've spent. But I definitely like that system. So let's go in and fill out a slip and then I think we're done. Alright, so there is my teller slip all filled out. The only other thing I do is I put my account number at the top, that way they know which account to pull from because I always feel like an idiot when they ask me because I can never remember. I don't know how it shows up for them, if it's just the original names or the names that I call them or if it's just the numbers, don't really know. So I do like to add that at the top for them. So this is the amount that we're pulling out and I am really excited to add to my sinking funds. It's always super fun to watch those grow. But budget wise, I think this is everything. I love how this turned out. This is just so much more cleaner. It's so much more organized. I feel like I can breathe. Um, it's way quicker. Um, now that I've got it figured down. Once I get into the routine of doing it, I don't think I will miss steps. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I'm an organized mess, so <laughs> chances are I might still skip stuff, but I feel good about this. I'm really excited about this month. Um, I can't wait to see how well I've done, and I hope that will motivate me to continue to do well in the future. But yeah, I'm going to leave it here. If you guys enjoyed this video, would you please give it a thumbs up? And if you'd like to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe and ring that notification bell if that's something you're interested in. But I'm going to go and get some other stuff done and hopefully I will see you guys in one of my future videos. Alright guys, as always, take care. Bye!